Okay, so um, eggs are really unforgiving and annoying to draw, which is why I wanted you guys to start there, um, because their symmetry is is over two axes, um, and they and it's not like a sphere, so it's not in the center. Um, so uh, what you'll do basically is you have your your sort of general format that you're working in, fairly small here, and then you want to kind of create an interesting composition out of this. So um, what I'll do first is kind of think of where I want the, the background bits to be, right? I'm going to have this fabric kind of coming over there. So I'll develop this kind of like layout first, right? And kind of get the general feel of the, the setting for the eggs, right? Okay. So taking care of compositional concerns is generally what you want to do first, first thing off. Right, so that kind of creates an interesting little composition, doesn't it? Even that, in design-wise. So um, next, what I want to do is basically just generally locate where the eggs are and get something of their relationship to each other. And what's kind of cool about this is we have a, a brown and a white egg, so you have different value ranges for the eggs, which is awesome. Really cool. And so stay loose like this for the for the first stages of the process, right? And then once you're here, don't immediately go to outline, right? What I like to do at this point is get the gesture, kind of um, more specifically more specifically develop where the egg is, right? Start start trying to find it, you know. Until you put some marks down, you can't you can't find where stuff is. And don't be afraid to move even late in the process. <clears throat> and you'll probably find that you need to widen out this little area slowly. So that's what I'm doing. Just taking that widening, trying to find, find that ideal egg form, which is tricky. Yeah, it's really tricky. Yeah. So you'll, pro you'll wind up kind of drawing this mess and then erasing it later. And then you can use this as value, right? So next what I want to do is find a little shadow under it. Start finding my value distribution. And I know that this is going to be dark. Or darker than the egg, right? Mm -hmm. So I can go ahead and so throw that. So which eggs are you doing? The, the white ones? These right here. Oh, these are the ones. Yeah. Um, ones closest to us. Right. So once I establish the second egg, I know this one's going to be a little darker overall than the white egg because it's a brown egg. So I can just go ahead and poster it, right? Mm -hmm. And immediately that between the overlap and, and the value change, the depth gets there, right? And then this guy's shadow is actually coming out from under here. Ooh. And I can knock that shadow in. And then what I can do too is I can just go ahead and knock in a little bit of value on the background, just so I get an idea of where my darks are overall. And staying, lo I'm staying loose, and I'm not, I'm going over edges, and and stuff like that. And then I can go back at the end and clean it up later, right? Mm -hmm. And then if I want, I can start to add in little bits of the the other section of the still life back there. And I know that these are going to be darkish too, right? So that's how you start your, your eggs. Then what you, ha what you have on the egg itself is you have the, the shadow, right? Mm -hmm. So the shadow is going gonna, is gonna to like wrap around the egg itself, you know? So what you want to do is think of it starting from behind and actually pulling the shadow around, right? Yeah, well, you'll see it once once I get there. And then I can kind of see that there's a lot of reflected light, so I'm going to wrap this around that way, too. Okay. There's different stages of shadow, right? Mm -hmm. And if I were to continue it, it would just go around there like that. So I've almost created like a wireframe of an egg real quick. And then these spots where I've wrapped around, 
those are going to be the, actually the, some of the darkest parts of the shadow on the egg itself, right? Mm -hmm. So when I lay in shadow, because so we're dealing with multiple light sources too, these will, these will wind up being darker. And then down here is going to be real dark. And then some of the fabric is actually going to interrupt that, the, the form of the egg right, right here. And I know that this is going to be pretty dark down here because that's going to be the very bottom of the egg. Oh. And then I just kind of you know, start transitioning up. So I've lost the egg among its shadow, right? So what I can do is start approaching that with the shadow on the ground. Starting to find the outline of the egg. And then I want to go ahead and start to differentiate the shadow on the fabric from the shadow on the egg. Right? I see that it's darker. See how that works? Okay. And then as I go along, I can get a little bit braver with my value and start pushing the value differences in the, in the shadows. And then when I do finally find these shadows and I want to find the egg itself, then I start to start to kind of bind the egg form a little bit with just hints of, of outlines. But I know that value is what differentiates. So I know that, that this bit of fabric has to, has to be darker than the egg, right? And I have, and I conveniently have a little bit of shadow on that egg behind, the, on the brown egg behind the white egg, to differentiate them. So now I've already kind of made the basic effort of of the egg just by kind of dividing them into light and dark, and basically taking a light area and a dark area, and making the dark area a middle value and the light area, what it is is called posterizing. So you just make the dark areas, the shadow areas dark. And your example is perfect posterizing, right? Mm -hmm. So now you can take your eraser and start to create value transitions in there, right? Gradients and stuff. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is kind of the initial stages and layout of the drawing. And from here, it's just like a lot of, a lot of time just filling in, you know? and just working slowly, slowly, slowly towards the final value, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Does that make sense? Yes. So basically the concept that you're working with is posterizing um, and then getting inside the form away from the outline and finding that, that shadow core. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So get to it. <laughs>